Hi, this is Carol Harnett with the One Take Work, Love, Play daily video blog. And today's blog is about people having a need to belong and to have purpose. I am writing or doing this video blog, remember One Take, in response to a column that went up this week, which I won't probably post this to next week, so it went up on Monday, August 1st. And it largely was about the influence of and, and the need for community to be involved in making lifestyle change if we're going to be successful. Uh, I need to say for FCC Reg, since it is a column for which I am hired and paid by HR executive, that they are indeed my client. And the purpose of the, the, the column actually had a couple of references, the two of which I want to make the most reference to are my reference to Hawaii and their continuing status as number one on the wellness, well-being index from the Gallup Healthways Wellbeing Index poll. And they are number one in three of the six domains where well-being is, is measured. And one of the beliefs I personally have as to why they do so well, in addition to, to it being a place where certainly it's easy to be physically active and have access potentially to some better, fresher foods, is their sense of ohana, which means extended family and can include people beyond your blood relatives, people who you feel are part of your fold. And I believe that has a tremendous influence on uh, people's health and well-being and happiness. Extend that to what uh, Healthways itself as a company is trying to do. They've been in the business of health and well-being delivery for over 30 years, I believe, I think close to 35, if not more. And they have done a great job in the individual market, and they will tell you that they have been able to help people make wellness changes, lifestyle changes, well-being improvement, but they find it lasts about a year, generally. They also have moved into the employer space, and again found the same phenomenon, able to make a good change with an employee population, but it lasts about a year, in most cases. So what they're doing is they're putting their stake in the ground with something called Vitality Cities, and their first Vitality Cities initiative is in California in what's called the Beach Cities, which is Manhattan Beach, Redondo Beach, and, El and Segundo Beach. And they're working with city planners and the community to change the community from the ground up so that the good choice is the easy choice. But I think almost as importantly, they're also involving community in things like what are called walking moais, which comes from the Blue Zones project that they are partnered with. The book Dan Butner wrote several years ago, and a second book he wrote recently. And it's, it's the importance of your community in both, number one, your sense of well-being and belonging, and then number two, your sense of purpose. What they're finding early on in the well-being um, initiative in the beach cities is that lots of people don't know their neighbors. And I can tell you, for me personally, that was the toughest part of my transition to moving to New England. It's very, very hard to get to know your neighbors. Very different than any other place I ever lived. And until I had that, I wasn't nearly as happy, I have to admit, and probably didn't have as great a sense of well-being. I'm going to add one third thought to that, and is that I just came from a national conference that I used to attend every year up until two years ago, and then frankly had vacation, uh, and it was good to take a break. I actually had vacation the same week. I went right from the conference to my vacation, which is where I'm posting this now. And I will tell you, I also experienced there this need for community and well-being, and I think there are two things that are good about conferences like this with their, where there is such a sense of community, and the good part of it is that people feel inclusive and supported, uh, they feel reaffirmed in their sense of purpose and what they're trying to do. I will though tell you there is a challenge to it. And the challenge I experienced, and it's interesting what uh, a year of distance will give you, or some people would say two years of distance will give you, is um, the sense of community um, also makes it harder to hear new points of view and to be open to aspirational points of view. And maybe that's not a bad thing. Um, it might be um, not good in moving us forward in the things that we need to do, but it probably is great in reaffirming, again, sense of community and sense of purpose. So I'm proud of myself because this week I think this is the first time I've thought about work at all, and so I'm going to close with, I think, some of the most important things that we're finding in Hawaii and initiatives like the um, Healthways Blue Zones Initiative, Vitality City, and at conferences where we reaffirm is that one of the things we all want to do is we want to wake up in the morning, feel a sense of purpose, and then extend that into feeling part of a larger community, part of a system of support. 
So this is Carol Harnett with a One Take Work Love Play Daily Video Blog saying that I hope for your sake you've had some good work today. I haven't had any other than doing this, that you've been enjoying some great love and that you don't forget to play. Thanks.